All right, guys, I want to do a quick tabletop review of another pistol I've recently acquired. Um, I don't know if many people know this or not, but I've secretly always been somewhat of a Beretta fan. I know a lot of people will rib me about that, especially guys that have been, have been through military service. But keep in mind, there's a big difference between the pistol you shot in the military that's been shot a million times, been kept up by armorers that don't know anything about the guns and don't care anything about them, and a good production civilian variant that's been kept, you know, taken care of. And also the big thing is ammunition. A lot of questions about 9mm stopping power. I promise 9mm hall points or defensive loads will get you there. If not, shoot them again. But anyways, what we have here tonight is the Beretta uh, Model 92A1. Model 92 is a very popular gun. What the A1 denotes is it is a light rail gun. It does have a short Picatinny rail here beneath the muzzle. Um, outstanding gun. Uh, this gun is world renowned basically. Uh, once again, a lot of people hate on it. A lot of people love it. I've shot the full out of this thing. I like it. Uh, this was this particular bread is the first one I've ever actually owned. I shot them quite a while, and I don't know. I'm, I'm growing into it. I like it better. Anyways, um, big thing you'll notice: big long barrel. Get nice, uh, nice velocities. Full size gun. You know, it's going to carry 17 rounds in the magazine. Um, this uh, one way that a bread is different than a pistol like a Springfield XD or Smith Wesson M&P or a Glock pistol is. It is a hammer gun. It's a transitional trigger gun. What that means is you're going to have a double action trigger pull. And let's always double check. We are clear. You're going to have a double action trigger pull in which as you pull the trigger, see the hammer moving there? You can actually cock and fire the gun. That's double action. After the gun cycles or whenever you chamber round and the gun runs, you'll have the hammer all the way to the rear so that when you pull the trigger, you're merely firing the gun. Single action. This is transition trigger gun, as I said earlier, so that means once you fire, you draw the gun, it's meant to be chambered with the hammer to the rear, decocked with the decocking lever that is ambidextrous on top of the slide, decocked, notice the, the trigger goes back forward, and you can either carry it with the safety on, or I choose to carry it with the safety off, uh, so that you draw the gun, you fire the gun in double action, the gun runs, goes to single action, release trigger, fire the gun again and so forth it goes back single action every time it fires um, a lot of people prefer this type of action for a beginner or a starter gun uh, because with the heavier trigger pull you get from that double action trigger pull uh, makes it a little harder to make a mistake uh, but on the flip side of that the single action trigger pull is very light so it makes it easier to make a mistake so I'm not sure me I'm a Glock fan I like them the same every time but Double action trigger pull is going to be around the nine pound mark or so. Single action is going to be around on the three to four pounds, I would guess. I don't have a, sadly don't have a scale or a tool to tell me that. Uh, so I'm, I'm merely guessing, but probably in that ballpark. Uh, 92, this is not the factory set of grips that came on the gun. I should have grabbed them out of the box. Norm, normally, excuse me, comes with a, uh, uh, hard plastic basically set of uh, a single panel they're not wrapped around like that this to me really helps the gun normally I'm not a big fan of the wrap around finger grooves but I do like this set I don't have huge hands but it does fit me fairly comfortably um, uh, so definitely good upgrade worth a few dollars there uh, light rail as you know you know that you can add laser light whatever fuzzy dice but that kills you on holsters it's hard enough as it is to find a holster that fits a railed 92 uh especially if you put a light or a laser on it me i'm a much bigger fan of holding my flashlight so that i can keep the firearm behind me and say hey you know what are you doing get out of my yard or whatever and not have to present the firearm until it's actually needed um been several stories of homeowners walking around a corner pissed them out of light, hey, what are you doing? And it been law enforcement officer, which typically does not like having a gun pointed at them. Uh, also, another aspect that I throw out there a lot of people don't think about is if it's a few kids that are up to no good, well, you can't just shoot them because they're in your bushes, uh, but if you show them the gun, they might come back while you're not home and break in trying to steal your gun. Uh, for me, I'd rather go through the rest of life and outside of work, people not know that I ever had a gun. 
Uh, don't know how many people feel the same way. In fact, let's put that to a vote. Uh, if you're a person that um, uh, believes that you should walk around showing everybody your gun, comment that in, in below. And if you're a person that would rather go around and nobody ever know you had a gun, throw that as a comment below. And let's see what adds up. If there's any, you know, I really love a good conversation. So if you'd, if you'd like, you know, give your opinion down there. Uh, if your opinion is I have a lisp and I sound like uh, whatever that cat is on the cartoon, I don't care. Go back to your mom's basement. But anyways, uh, any questions or concerns about the gun, uh, please let me know. Uh, factory new, the gun does come with two magazines, a uh, little box, that kind of stuff. No cleaning kit or anything like that. You'll get the manual. Um, the um, There's a couple differences between the 92A1 like you see here and the M9A1. Big differences, texturing on the back strap. Uh, the 92A1 has removable sights if you're looking between the two guns. Uh, also the 92A1 has a little more conducive uh, uh, light rail for different lights. That's where the M9A1 only has one slot. Um, and the magazine finish is different. Uh, other than that, they're basically the same gun. Um, I would probably prefer the 92A1, that way I can install night sights whenever I get there. Um, anyways, any questions or concerns on the gun, let me know, happy to help. Please like, favorite, subscribe uh, to the channel. If you haven't done so already, check out some of my other videos, you might find something you like, or if you don't like it, don't tell me. Anyways, I appreciate you spending some time with me, and uh, thank you guys.